Florida Van Man Rolling Realtor videos are all about uh, when a viewer wants to buy a van in Florida, but they don't happen to be in Florida. They contact me and I go take a look at the van for them, shoot some video, take some pictures, have a little chat on the phone, and we talk about it before I leave the van, help them decide if this is the right van for them or not. This van is in Daytona Beach, and I think Paul's in Milwaukee, so here we go. Okay. Uh, back in my shirt, Florida Van Man. Okay. I run a YouTube channel about these vans. Oh, okay. So I've got an interested shopper that wants to buy this one. So we're going to give it a quick look over. There you go. It's got a, a new plastic resonator on it. Yeah, he had said, um, Alex is his name, great guy. Um, he said, you know, I traded workout and the guy, the guy had gone through the motor for me. And uh, I said, okay. So that's kind of what I know about it. He was, uh, Alex is a jack of all trades, runs the boats. He's a boat captain and, uh, yeah. and he. Uh, Pureburg EGR, so that's fairly new. Yeah, he had we're... said they'd gone through it to what extent, I, you know, I, I don't have any documentation, so I'm not one of those guys that bullshit you and tell you what yeah. I knew he did do it or not. But he said they've gone through that engine. I said, okay. It's got some. Got a little bit of there. A little up there. Nothing there to speak of. That's just Surface. cosmetic. But yeah, let's see what we got down here. Not bad at all down here. Not dripping anything. Yeah. I got a little rust in the usual places yeah, there. I think above the window too. Just I don't think if it's through, but you can see the surface beginning here. Yeah. This side too, I see a little bit. Yeah. I don't think you can push through any of it, but it's gonna need to be addressed eventually for sure. Yeah. Open the back. He had uh he had, had tools uh and racks in it. When he, when he decided to get out of the other stuff, he just emptied the van. DIY wiring and insulation in there. Definitely a hardware kind of guy. Yeah, good dude. These tracks always get filled up with whatever gets lost. Yeah. Pens and pencils or nuts and bolts, depending on who drove it. <laughs> Exhaust looks good. Drive shaft is showing a little orange. And it sat for, you know, season because he, he'd be out there on the season and then he'd come here on the on the cold months. Yeah. Got a little transmission leak there. Looks like it's coming from right there at the serviceable seal. Not a big deal. Oh. A little oil coming down from up top there. Valve cover gasket or breather. Fuel tank is dry. That's good. Two hundred and forty thousand miles. Clock is close. That's good. Cold start, that's not bad. Yeah, excessive blow by, and those things just yeah. get there. Right. And 
make a lot of noise. Looks like a little fountain when you've got that little light going on. Yeah. Got a little little rust going on there. A little bit on the door, not bad. Okay. That's what the extra wires are, these lights up here. Yeah, okay. We used to have like pull out Shelby and all kinds of shit. Kind of a carpenter flash. Yeah, not bad at all. There we go. Yeah, just a little momentum. That's not bad. A little lubrication. Oop, that one's locked. Check that one off the bingo card. Dash vents are broken. Airbag is coming apart. All in all, she looks pretty good. Being mindful of the brakes, mind if I take it up and down the road here yeah. a little bit? No problem. Yeah, if you want to go that to dead end, just be careful. Yep. I do love the turning radius of a 118. Look at that ridiculous little cul-de-sac to turn around.
So looking at the interior, other than the airbag coming apart, something's been glued on there. Dash vents are broken. Something was screwed into the dash there and there. I don't know, a little something spilled. One seat's a little ripped up here. We're missing a little, not a big deal. Has had some brake work done. Apparently somebody test drove it, complains of soft brakes. I drive it, it feels great. I've driven a lot of them that have softer brakes. Pureberg EGR, so that's not gonna be very old. That's good. Fuel filter looks kind of old, but not rusty. So it's been maintained. Got some kind of secondary electrical system that's been removed. Still got a wire going to it, but nothing coming from it. Transmission fluid is still nice and red. Motor oil is golden brown, fresh from an oil change. Tires look great, they're Goodyear. Lots of tread on them. Rims are not very well painted behind the hubcaps. But it, that is what it is. There are painted rims behind plastic hubcaps. Okay, we got a little bit of common rust there. Uh, a bolt missing there. So there's a little rust here and there that's kind of expected on a van this age. Uh, this is a, about average. We see them with more, we see them with less, sometimes a lot more. All in all, I think this van's a pretty good deal. As always, the dealership is asking a little bit too much money for it, but. I'm sure they can be talked down, and I think Paul's going to buy this van. Find us on Facebook for more free advice and tips. Follow the profile, Florida Van Man, the page, and join the discussion group, Florida Van Man, the group. If you find our advice and videos helpful, please be a part of making it all happen. Under the Donate tab of our webpage, you'll find links for PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, and we also take Zelle for one-time donations. Membership includes discounts to our events, early access to all of our videos as soon as they're made, and one-on-one -on -one assistance when you need help with your van. In the Facebook group, you'll get views and advice from experts and amateurs from around the world. While you're in the group, please check out the Files section, where you'll find... Uh, complete code list and service manuals for the North American Sprinters 2004 through 2006 and 2002 to 2003 as well as a few other helpful documents. Please be kind to our friends who have helped us learn along the way. Million Mile Sprinter, SOS Diagnostics, and Williams Diesel have all been key in getting us where we are today. In just a few seconds you should see a few links including a couple to our latest videos and one to our Patreon page where you can join in membership and start taking advantage of member benefits while you help support Florida Van Man and keep these videos coming.